My colleagues at the, at the Federal Reserve and I are dedicated to serving the American people. We do this by steadfastly pursuing the goals Congress has given us, maximum employment and stable prices. We are committed to making the best decisions we can based on facts and objective analysis. Today, we decided to lower interest rates. The U.S. economy has continued to perform well. We are into the 11th year of this economic expansion, and the baseline outlook remains favorable. The economy grew at a 2.5 percent pace in the first half of the year. Household spending, supported by a strong job market, rising incomes, and solid consumer confidence, has been the key driver of growth. <clears throat> in contrast, business investment and exports have weakened amid falling manufacturing output. The main reasons appear to be slower growth abroad and trade policy developments, two sources of uncertainty that we've been monitoring all year. We continue to see sustained expansion of economic activity, strong labor market conditions, and inflation near our symmetric 2 percent objective as most likely. While this has been our outlook for quite some time, our views about the path of interest rates that will best achieve these outcomes have changed significantly over the past year. As I mentioned, weakness in global growth and trade policy uncertainty have weighed on the e economy and pose ongoing risks. Many times when the direction is relatively clear and it's relatively easy to reach anonymity. This is a time of difficult judgments and, as you can see, d uh, disparate perspectives. And uh, as I, I really do think uh, that's nothing but healthy. And um, so uh, I, I see a benefit in having those diverse perspectives, really.